show for you. Have we got a fun show for you? Yes, we have. We've got spiders galore, gongs to bang, animals to feed, celebrity guests to meet, and mystery animals. Mums and dads and kids to help us too, with all the fun. At the end, they can relax in the hammock before coming back here and collecting their prizes and talking of prizes. Why don't you meet mine? She's got a lovely voice, you know. Tito Gobby's voice was one in a thousand. Maria Callas's voice was one in a million. Gillian Tailford's voice was one in a raffle. Yes, I heard you insured your voice for a million dollars. Yes. What do you do with the money? <laughs> Gillian. Sorry, no, that's a... <laughs> because, by the way, by yes. the way. Did you hear the one about the uh, football match between the elephant's team and the lion's team? No, no, tell me, tell me. Yeah. Well, what happened was, you see, the elephant said to like, all his team, he said, look, be careful, he said, because that lion's a right good player. He yeah. said, if he's zooming out there and scoring all the goals, he said, no, we don't want that, watch him. So they go and start a football match, everything. Of course, as soon as the lion's on, zoom, right the way, scores a goal, gets yeah. another one. At the end of the first half, 25 goals he's got. Yeah. They all go off, he talks to him in the dressing rooms, he says, look, boys, I told you, be careful. He said, watch the lion. Right. So they all go back out. All of a sudden, somebody from the elephants team sent a page. He goes, zoom, scores a goal. No. Gets another one. Yes. Right at the end of the match, he yes. scored 26 goals. No. The elephant said, the elephant said to him, what was the matter with you? He said in the first half. He said, well, I just put my boots on, didn't I? <laughs> Off you go, Gillian. <laughs> Take that. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. So let's meet our first contestants, the Kin Flagon family. <laughs> That's it. Bill and Marie, how is you pronounce your name again? Kivlikin. Oh, of course. Why didn't I do that? Honestly, how silly. Now, Marie, you like uh, riding. Yes. And you're with the Girl Guides, I hear. Yes. Now, I hear that you like watching TV. Yes. And I've been told that your favourite programme is a programme I do called Rent-A-Ghost. Is that true? No. no? Oh. Oh, Sam, you win. Are you... Did well, you... Uh, well, I used to like it, but I've got another programme now. You've got another programme? Yeah. What's that? Angels. Oh. <laughs> Thanks very much, Marie. <laughs> I think we'll move on to your first question. Now, here you see a rhinoceros. Now, a rhinoceros likes to roll in thick mud so that when the layer of mud dries, it has another skin protecting it from insect bites. Now, is that true or false? True. Bill, you're quite right. Two points, and on to the next game. So let's meet our next contestants, the Pinnaker family. Both well? Yes, thank you. Good, good. Now, now, Darren, I hear that you like fishing yes. and stamp collecting. Pete, you like, uh, rather, you like, you're a, a burglar alarm engineer. That's right. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you enjoy shooting and fishing. Do you shoot the burglars as they come in? <laughs> Not exactly. Not no. exactly, no, but do you enjoy fishing. Have you um, caught any big fish? Uh, reasonably big, yes. What's the biggest? Uh, about four pounds. Four pounds, very good. Listen, I tell you, if ever you should catch a whale, which is very unlikely, I know, and you want to weigh it, please take it to a whale way station. <laughs> Sorry, Pete, but we've got a question, <laughs> a question here for you, and it's about this spider here. Now, a tarantula bite is fatal to man. True or false? True. We think it's true. It's not fatal. You see, they could bite you, but it, and it wouldn't kill you, so it's not fatal. Sadly, no points. Never mind. On to the next game. <laughs> so, let's meet our next contestants, the Dowdle family. <laughs> Hello, Jackie. Hello, Lisa. Both well? 
Yes, good, you. good. Now, Lisa, I, I hear that you like swimming and skating and stamp collecting and drawing. Yes. What sort of things do you draw? Um, cottages. Cottages. How lovely. Would you like to draw me one day? <laughs> no. Oh, fine. <laughs> Drift, OK. <laughs> So, Jack, Jackie, you're a housewife. I believe also your husband is a dance band singer. Yes. Well, what sort of what sort of singing does he do? Um, well, dance band. Um, no, it's, it's, it's a kind of it's a it's a big ballroom. Yeah, it's yes, ballroom. Yes. Silly question, really. Do you know? I, would he like to come on here? Because I suppose if he came on this show, he could sing, "Fly Me to Baboon." Yes, I think he would. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll move over. No one's going to appreciate my singing to your question. Now, over here, we have a hoopoo bird. Now, the hoopoo bird is a bird that got its common name because its call is a hoo hoo hoo. It also utters a low poo poo poo. <laughs> now, be careful. Is it true or false? False. Oh, it's true! Oh, it's my good acting. I'm so sorry. No points, but on to the next game. <laughs> Oh dear, who writes these questions? Gillian, what is the score after that round? At the end of game one, we have Bill and Marie with two points. Pete and Darren, Jack and Lisa haven't scored at the moment. That's what you hear at the end of the snake game, which means you've won five points. The second team will get three points, and sadly, the last team gets nothing. Oh! And on the way, of course, we've got the spider's web, we've got the crocodile here, we've got the tree trunk, the nasty old swamp, and that is it. Easy, isn't it? The snake game. Now, the game is played by the kids. Now, the kids play it by making a four, five, six or seven-piece jigsaw puzzle. And um, when they when they made the jigsaw, they put up their marker, and then that means you can move forward, big kids. All right? You got that? Easy, isn't it? What do you think of it? Ha <laughs> ha, safari? Exactly. Now, just to make it a little bit more difficult, what we've asked you to do, as I see you've already got your boots on and they're tied together. <laughs> it's going to be such fun. And you've got your life jackets on. And then on the way round, we're going to ask you to take, um, well, your anoraks and then the rucksacks, pick up and then pick up the uh, pots and pans. In the alligator's mouth over there, we've got some sleeping bags. We've got ropes and you're on the way. But we've got one more thing. You've got a frying pan in your hand and as you go around, pick up these real eggs. Oh, are you ready? <laughs> On your marks, get set, go!
very close. I'm going to give five points each of them. And look, Jackie, oh, I'm exhausted. I don't know about you. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Gillian, what are the scores at the end of that round? At the end of game two, we have Bill and Marie with seven points, Pete and Darren with five points, and Jackie and Lisa with three points. I'm so confused after that game. I didn't know what I was supposed to be doing next. <laughs> oh, I do now, of course. It's feeding the animal time. Yes, and... Today we've got alligators and giraffes and zebras. And look, there's Pete, who's going to try and stop Marie from scoring. Now, you won't, he won't stop you, will he, Marie? You've got all your fruit here. What you've got to do is slam it into those animals' mouths. Come on, Bill. Let's get it started up. Oh, I'm really excited about that last one. Yes! Well done, first time. We're off! Oh, yeah, yeah. Jackie and Lisa with one. So what does that make our final score, Gillian? At the end of game three, we have Bill and Marie with 12 points, Pete and Darren with 10 points, and Jackie and Lisa with six points. Well, it's mystery animal time. Now, all you have to do... Quiet celebrity guest, dear, oh dear. She's going wild already. Now, all you have to do is ask our mad celebrity in there one question each, and she can only answer yes or no. When you've got the six answers, you write them down, and if you get the correct animal behind these curtains, you win five points. If you're in the same family, perhaps it's one. Now, to yes. our noisy celebrity guest, an American singer with hits like Can the Can Can and Devil Can Drive. She started Happy Days and lots more. Whatever the weather, she's clad in leather. Susie Quattro! <laughs> Yes. Where's the leather, Susie? It's at the cleaners. It's at the cleaners. Yes. Ask a silly question. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you do to your shirt? Oh, 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 dear. I promised I'd never be caught like that. Susie, it's great to see you. Listen, yes. I love you. You've got an animal there. I almost fell for my own joke, did didn't I? I? <laughs> <laughs> almost Splat, yeah. <laughs> Tell me, have you any animal stories for us? Um, well, I kind of made up a joke. You made, oh, fabulous. Okay, joke. right. I made this up. This is from my own head, right? So you know how weird I am, right? Yes, okay. okay. If there's an elephant living in Australia and he has to contact his mother living in America, how does he do it? I don't know. How does he do it? He makes a trunk call. <laughs> Very good, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> We've got six questions here, and remember, only a yes or no okay. answer. So, starting down there, what would you it's like? Animal. Yes. Is it carnivorous? Who? Is it carnivorous? Does it eat meat? <laughs> Very I good, knew Bill. that. I knew that. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. So, what would you like to ask? Has it got distinctive markings? Mm, no. 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 Pete. Is it a domestic animal? Mm, <laughs> no. 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 Um, has it got hooves? No. Is it uh, uh, smaller than a, a zebra? Is it small? Yes, it is, yes. I can hear it behind going mad here. <laughs> Listen, you have now ten seconds to write down what you think this week's mystery animal is. This is my favourite bit. They're all drawing a blank so far. What is it? What do I do? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you do. That's, I, I do that when I perform. Do you? <laughs> 
Now, listen, I think this might be quite difficult. I think we're going to give a clue here. What sort of a clue? Uh, we can, it, let's say something like, it carries animals around with it. Yes. OK, it carries animals. So write something quickly down. What have you got there, Marie? What have you got? We're coming to you. She's got a kangaroo. I wonder how she got that. Bill, a kangaroo. Darren, I shouldn't have given this clue, I knew. A kangaroo. Pete, a kangaroo. <laughs> Lisa, a kangaroo. <laughs> Jackie, a kangaroo. <laughs> so, tell us, or rather show us, Susie, what have we got here? Yeah. <laughs> it's a wallaby, but I mean, it's, it is a kangaroo, yes. I mean, it's a sort of same. I think we're going to give you all, because you're such fabulous contestants, it's five cute. points each. Listen, you've got a bonus question for the kids. Oh, Have yes. you got a bonus okay, question? Okay, yes, I do. Um, it's, it's just uh, right at the top of my head. It is. There it is, um, there it is. Um, what is a baby wallaby called? Well done! Fantastic! Very, clever, very yes. good down there. Terrific. And this is for the, this is for the yes. adults? What is the number of wallabies known as? It's a very difficult one. No points there because in fact the ups is a mob. Oh, I see. Silly. <laughs> Italian, a mob. I suppose. Who's heard of a mob of wallabies? <laughs> yes, Italian, yes. <laughs> Italian wallabies. Very good. Listen, what are you going to be doing next? Um, well, we're going to start any time now filming. I'm um, doing a movie with uh, Jack Watt for television, a sort of gangster thing. Oh, terrific. Yeah, so we're looking, and we'll have a record out virtually any day now. Oh, that's marvellous. Susie, thanks ever so much for Thank coming. You. Nice big round of applause for Susie Thank Potter. You. What is the score, please? Well, at the end of game four begins, we have Bill and Marie with 24 points, Pete and Darren with 20 points, and Jackie and Lisa with 16 points. Yay! Well, here I am on the water crossing, as you can see. Now, all you have to do <laughs> is get from that side to this side, like me. Simple, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Oh, how clever I am. A round of applause I think I deserve for that. <laughs> Though this time, it's slightly different, is to come across on the hammocks. I promised you hammocks, and here they are. And you've got your coconuts, I see, the parents have there, which is marvellous. Right. Are you ready? On your marks, get set, you're off! Oh! And Jackie and Lisa was 21 points. Oh, well done. I must say, you gave us a big splash, though. You really did all of it. It was wonderful. Marie, when you went in, I couldn't believe it. It was marvellous. And you got out again. And in... You were very lazy, Bill. Didn't want to do anything. <laughs> Stay to the side. Anyway, you've got runners up prize, which are fabulous. You could either have a choice of a four man tent or a marvellous collection of oil painting equipment to capture the countryside. Now, what would you like, the tent or the paints? Yeah. The tent. And what about you down the end there, Jackie? The paints. The paints. Well done. I knew you'd want the paints. Right, so Gillian, 
gentlemen, who are this week's winners? Our winners this week are Pete and Darren with 30 points. <laughs> oh, Pete, you were marvellous. Well, you've won a fantastic holiday in a multi-activity centre at Cornell and Manor, Anglesey. There's a wide range of pursuits, include pony trekking, sailing, archery, climbing, in Britain's most beautiful surroundings. Well done. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Say goodbye.